in this video i want to show you a different way to use laravel form request well laravel provides several different approaches to validate your applications incoming data first of all i don't think that using a small validation into your controller will harm your code readability but on the other hand if you are willing to handle more complex validation scenarios you may wish to create a form request a separate form request and this is a very recommended way so as you can see in this project i am storing the product details with the help of this create product form and in the controller i am using the request class and with the help of this request class i am using the validate function and with the help of this validate function i am validating the data so if i go to the application and submit the empty form then i will get the validation errors here you can see so we will create separate form request to handle the uh, validation form request are custom request classes that uh, with the help of that you can encapsulate your own validation and authorization logic so you can create separate form request class with the help of php artisan command so enough theory let's open a new terminal and in the terminal let's write php artisan make request and then you need to provide the name so i want to create this request to validate the store product details so let's give uh, it a suitable name let's say store product request So as you can see uh, a message here request created successfully now uh, you can find your request class by just going to the app folder and under the app folder you can find the http folder and under the http folder you can find the request folder and in the folder in the request folder you can see here that we have restore product request class that we have created so in this class we have two functions here the one is the authorize function and the other one is the rules function where we define all our validation rules so uh, let's go to the controller and let's copy all of this validation that we have defined in here and let's move this validation into this rules functions so you will define all of your uh, validation into this rules function so let's save it and let's go to the controller again now we don't need to add this um, validate function because we have moved all of the validation into our separate uh, form request class and also in we do not need this request class so instead of this request class we need to use this store product request class so let's use this store product request class in the parameter and also do not forget to import or use this uh, class at the top of the controller now let's save it now if i go to the application and uh, if i again save the submit this uh, form as an empty form i will again see these validation errors so let's save this so here you can see instead of getting the validation error I'm getting 403 error the uh, this action is unauthorized so this is because in the store product request we forget to uh, make this uh, authorized function is equals to true so we want to use this request and we want to authorize this request as you can see this is written here that determine if the user is authorized to make this request so we want to uh, make the user to you to use this request so do not forget to return this authorized function as true let's save it and let's go to the application and let's submit the form again as an empty form so here you can see now we are getting the validation errors and these are the same validation errors because we have moved the same validation from the controller to our form request now to change your validation you can just go to the uh, store product request and let's change the price validation 
let's say that minimum price value should be 100 let's save this now if i fill this form let's say iphone x and in the product description let's add anything and if i add a price of 50 and if i submit this form here you can see now i'm getting a different validation that is the price must be at least 100 characters so this is because we have added the minimum value of our price field is 100 but the one thing is here is the characters we do not want our price to be stored in characters so let's add another validation let's say integer let's save this and let's uh, fill this form again and in the price column let's add uh, 40 and let's submit this form again now you can see the price must be at least 100 so we are getting the uh, validation errors from our store product request class now if i submit this uh, form again and if i add the price uh, more than 100 and submit this form now here you can see I'm not getting the validation errors instead of getting validation errors the form submitted successfully because we have filled our form correctly so this is how you can uh, use separate form request into your uh, Laravel application and this is a recommended way uh, you will see whenever uh, any senior developer work on validation they they used to create separate form request class so if you want to create another class you can just again use the same php artisan command that is php artisan make request command so this is how you can separate all of your form uh, validation with the help of separate form request classes so i hope that this video will help you to learn something new and if you are facing any issue in anything then let me know in the comments